Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got a super, super cool uh, knife unboxing video to show with you guys. So usually when I make um, personal purchases, it's something that is there for a second and it's gone, right? In this case, I think, don't, you know, don't go nuts if I'm wrong, but I think these are actually still available. So I will try to link them right down in the description. Be warned, these are expensive knives, so if you get super, you know, if your pants get real saucy when you see expensive knives and don't click on the link, right, I don't want to ruin your pants. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me, uh, and uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, so this was purchased at NC Blade, and uh, I imagine a lot of you just, you know, after hearing me say that, you probably know what it is. Um, I was kind of watching this. I saw it uh, shown off on, I have no affiliate program with NC Blade. They have no idea I ordered this. I paid for it, right? I don't get anything if you guys go buy these, but I'll link it anyway. Um, I saw this shown off on their Instagram multiple times. And I thought, uh, yes, absolutely. That is something that I will, uh, that is something that I will be buying. Oh yeah, CKF Custom Knife Factory. This is actually a collaboration with the legendary Bob Terzuola. Uh, I got the Eagle Rock here. Just gonna, oh boy. <laughs> Feel I, I had a buddy, my, my buddy Joe was telling me, he was like, it's, it's, a, it's a big knife. Oh man, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> Oh man, what an absolute beast. Yes, all right. Do I flip it or do I thumbs? I'm gonna do the thumb disc, yes. Ah, yeah, dang, look at that. That is absolutely freaking wicked. I'll tell you what, that's actually even bigger than I thought it was gonna be, and that makes me so happy. I think, yeah, I think these are, I think it's multi-row bearings. Oh, man. Okay, so my version is what they call the CKF wash, which is absolutely gorgeous. Zir uh, zirconium bolsters. We have a, I think it maybe is a Mokotai pivot collar or something like that. And then we have carbon fiber scales with a titanium liner. Absolutely beautiful. Also a zirconium backspacer, right? That, that one's probably gone, right? No, actually, this one, and there, there were three versions of this, right? I'll show you guys here. I'll take a look real quick. Tie Zerk, CF Timascus, Zerka Tie, my card. I don't know why they've got all this stuff in there. Okay. Maybe, maybe that. Okay. Blade Steel, they had a few different variations. I'll tell you what, if they come out with a Damascus Steel version of this, I'll buy another one. I'm just going to say it right now. Like if they do a Damascus Steel and like Zerka Tie, all Zerka Tie version of this, I'm buying it. I don't care. I, I, it, whatever it is. Right. But. There, uh, there were two versions. This is S90V, which I was so happy about. Like, thank you for not just doing another, like, oh, it's M390, wow. You know, oh, wow. Um, M390 is fine, right? Um, this was S90V. They had a red carbon fiber version that was S90V. And then they had a super special version in S110V. Why didn't you get that one? I'm going to be honest with you. That one was $100 more, or right around $100 more. And I looked, I kept looking at the post, I kept looking at it, and I was like, what is the deal? What is special about this? S110V is not, <laughs> it's not that special over S90. In fact, I prefer S90 over S110. S110 is ridiculously chippy. Not that I'm going to use this, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a collector, did you know? I don't know if you knew. I'm a knife collector. Uh, but I kept looking. I was like, there's got to be something else. There's got to be. There wasn't. It was titanium bolsters, carbon fiber, titanium backspacer, S1T, uh, S110V blade for 100 bucks more. And I was like, w well, I am uninterested in that. Usually I go for the special boy of the bunch. Usually I go for the, 
you know, I look at the high price one, I find out what's the difference, and usually there's a, a good incentive there. It, it looked pretty cool, but I was like, um, no, I'll uh, I'll take and and also it was just like a plain tumbled finish. Absolutely nothing about that more expensive one tempted me. But this zirconium zirconium CKF wash. This is the only one that came in the CKF wash. Now this is still expensive. I want to say I paid six hundred and forty bucks for it. But of the three, this is in my opinion far and away the most interesting variant. I think they also made quite a few more of these and the red carbon fiber versions than the S110V variants. I think they only made a few of them, right? So if the, if it was just the collector aspect or whatever, that's fine. But I don't always go for it just for the collector aspect. I go for the one that I like, and this one was far and away the most interesting. Man, so this is the first time I've ever... I know this isn't like an actual Terzola, Terzola made Terzola, but it is the Eagle Rock created by... Uh, custom knife factory and my god is this awesome this oh man this is so cool uh the oh, i'll tell you what the only thing that i don't like is that it says Terzola on the clip and I, you know i no, no disrespect to the legend i just don't want it to say that there um but uh i think they said that you could buy like a standard like no no text clip right uh, this is a little bit billboardy, not too bad. Hey, number 37, all right, we're, we're pretty low there. S90V and then nothing on this side. What's the point of having a thicker grind as the primary and a thinner grind up here? I don't know. You know, truthfully, I enjoy these different blade geometries just because they're interesting. I don't need to force a roll or anything like that. I legitimately just like how the blade looks, right? So I have no idea what the purpose of that would be. Um, lockout solidity on this guy, very good, beautiful. I cannot stress enough, the action is insane on this. It is insane, it is beautifully smooth. And most of the time I'm not the biggest fan of those thumb discs, but if they're placed in exactly the right place, then they work, right? Whoop, there we go. Yeah, that's meat of my finger, not my fingernail. I'm using the meat, right? I don't know why I keep saying meat. It's getting kind of gross to say that. Um, I am a huge fan of this kind of chalky zirconium. I'll, I'll admit, I would have loved to see a polished zirk on this. I think that would have looked awesome. I think that would have looked better, but this is okay. I'm happy to have zirconium. This guy is a little bit heavier than the other ones because of the zirconium. Um, I don't really care about that. What's the overall length? Let's go ahead and measure it. Overall length of this knife is coming in. Oh, 9.75 inches. It really is. Wow. Blade length, about 4.35. Cutting edge, about four and a quarter. That's a freaking big knife, man. Let's put it up against some other big boys so we can put that into context here. Let's do uh, these two. Yeah, how about the Hinder XM24? <laughs> How about the Strider SMF? There we go. Yeah, bigger. Absolutely. Um, what else do I have that's a really big knife? Mm, I mean, that people would be able to be familiar with. Let's let's put it up against a Shirogorov. Not that the Shirogorovs are huge, but how about a flagship? Yeah, F95. Mm, quite a bit bigger than the F95. I don't know. I don't know if this is useful. Microtech Scarab 2. Big knife for sure. Not quite as big. Even with the glass breaker, still not quite as big. This is freaking huge, man. How about another CKF? I got a couple of other CKFs here. Um, the Rotten Evo 3. Quite a bit bigger. And uh, how about the uh, FIF 20? Yes, quite a bit bigger. If they do, I, here's what I'm. Here's what, what would be ideal, and it, it, they would charge a ridiculous amount. They would charge like two grand for it. But if they come out with a version of this that is damas steel, polished zirconium bolsters, and zircotai, uh scales, I will be all over that. 
I love the profile of this knife. I love the it's it's it. You know, Bob Trezuola is. Um, <laughs> it's like uh, he he literally wrote the book on the tactical folding knife, right? And the guy has been around designing knives for a very very long time. Um, but uh, I I would absolutely go for a crazy dressy version of this. Um, this is an extremely, extremely good looking knife. I love the classic uh, knife look that's mixed with, um, you know, kind of the more modern. It's got more modern and it's obviously got collector elements here. I mean, there's nothing here that's absolutely necessary. The compound grind is not necessary for, you know, the average person. Zirconium bolsters. I mean, truthfully, all that's doing is adding weight and carbon fiber, slick carbon fiber. It just looks cool, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, as a uh, knife enthusiast and collector, this is an absolute dream come true. I am, wow, I, uh, I am extremely pleased with this. Um, my buddy was telling me, uh, somebody who's, who's sent knives to the channel multiple times, he said, the detent feels a bit light for the flipper, but it's tuned perfectly for uh, the thumb disc. And I would, uh, I would have to say that I agree with that completely. Um, there is no detent play. The flipper tab works, but if there, if the knife was just a flipper, I would definitely prefer it to be slightly heavier. But make no mistake, it really doesn't take hardly any effort to get it to flip. But to deploy it with the disc, it is perfect. I would call this a medium detent for the size of knife that it is. It does not make a click. It's more of a thud. Yeah. Centering. Looks like we're good there. No... Uh, no surprise. Um, yeah, overall, I am extremely, extremely happy with this. This is really cool. This is not a review. This is just an unboxing and first impressions. I will definitely do a full comprehensive review of this knife. Um, get it up here in a couple of weeks. Just wanted to share this with you guys and let you know that these are available both in uh, the version that you're seeing here, which I think is absolutely the best version, um, and also a red carbon fiber version, which is pretty cool. Um, but uh, I would say uh, you are not missing out on anything by by not being able to get your hands on the the weird S110V variant. I have no idea what that one was about. Um, but they're all you know they're all they're all cool knives. Um, that's going to be pretty much it for today. Uh, where's my Oh, my card go. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.